This is a simple project that I've been asked to do to enable us to use our 12 volt Inspire One battery charger to charge up the remote control battery. The small battery lead shown on the screen is given to you when you first purchase your Inspire. This enables you to charge up your remote control battery using one of the Inspire One batteries when you're out in the field and away from any electrical power supply. Using the lead is very simple. Simply plug it into your Inspire One battery, plug the other end of the lead into your remote control, turn on the Inspire One battery and charge and will commence on the remote control. The idea of this is very good, but it does mean sacrificing one of your batteries that you could use for flying or you may have to use a nearly depleted battery to try and charge the remote controller. Our idea here now is to use the multi-charging plate that we've used in many of the other projects. I simply cut off the first bay of the multi-charging plate as this had all the bits and pieces that we required to do what we needed with this project. With a small modification to the charging board, this is done next to where the power plug fits in. The DJI charging lead for the remote controller should fit into this point, but I found these are a little bit on the large size, so need to be modified just about here. You could modify the plug itself, but I wouldn't advise that. I'd just do it on the actual power board itself. With the aid of a Dremel and a thin grinding disc, you should be able to shave off approximately three millimeters from the charging plate. Take care here not to damage the power input socket. When done, the supplied DJI remote control charging lead should fit snugly onto our charging plate. Do small bits at a time and check regularly to see whether the plug fits on with ease. When applying power to the charging board, the LED should light. If all is well, plug in the supplied DJI remote control charging lead into the charging board and using a voltmeter, check that the plug has got negative on the outside as shown here and positive in the center pin. You can now plug the supplied lead into the remote controller and it should start charging. The way we've done this lead will enable us to do two things. One is to charge up the remote controller and two to continue charging the Inspire One batteries or both together. As you can see here, we're just charging up the remote controller on its own. And now we can add the Inspire One battery and plug it in as you would do normally to charge. So this enables you to run both at the same time, the charging of the Inspire One battery and the remote controller. I hope you found this project of interest to you. Thank you for watching and you fly safe.